I first became unwell when I was 19 years old, where I woke up paralysed from the waist down. I lost a lot of confidence and my independence. I have a condition which causes me to have multiple seizures up to 30 to 40 times a day. The most thing that I get said to me is I don't look disabled. I'm proud of myself because even when I got told that I might never walk again, I managed to get myself up and walking. When I was 19 years old, I went on a night out with my friends, everything was normal. And the next day I woke up with like tingly legs. About half an hour, an hour later, I was in my ex-partner's car with my friends. As I went to pull my seat forward to let the others out of the car, the left side of my face dropped and I wet myself. I cried and screamed um, that I couldn't move my legs at all. Like I couldn't even move my toes or anything. So they ended up calling an ambulance. I got rushed to hospital. They asked me if I had done like any drugs or was there a possibility that I had been spiked. They did uh, blood and urine samples to check, but there like wasn't like anything in my system. They didn't really know what it was and like what was happening to me. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I suffer with functional neurological disorder. It causes me paralysis, blindness, I have seizures. I use catheters to go to the toilet because my bladder goes into retention. I also get incontinence and many other symptoms. I currently have 24 hour care because it's too dangerous for me to be on my own. I lost a lot of confidence and my, um, sorry, <laughs> my independence. I like looking at photos like that to remember what I used to be like. <laughs> that was when I was 18, just before I became unwell, when everything was normal, <laughs> when life was great. <laughs> I got a call from Mary Jade's boyfriend at the time. Mary Jade's in hospital because she's paralysed. Initially, I was just shocked when, when he said it on the phone and I rushed over there. And for me, it was heartbreaking just to see my child in that state, see the absolute heartbreak in her eyes, the, the fear in her eyes. Just to see her in the state she was in, it, it broke my heart. I felt helpless. Nobody really knew what was going on and nobody really believed anything. I had to give my job up. I was a full-time carer for her. She was in hospital two and a half, three months. I was there every day, wasn't I? She's been having seizures, which for me, I think they are actually the worst thing because they're so sporadic, instantaneous. Some seizures, I wake up completely blind. I can usually tell if like something triggers it. So if like a loud bang or loud sirens go past me. But if it startles me, I, it usually means I'm gonna go into a seizure. So we know the condition is very rare. Did, the question is, did you know it was possible for learning a new diagnosis? Mum. Mum. What's going on so far? <laughs> Okay, don't worry, just rest for a second. I tried so hard not to go into that. <laughs> I feel like I've got absolutely no control of my body at all. And we don't either, I, I don't know how to help her. Um, all I can do is help her when she's having a seizure, but I don't know how to stop it, I don't know how to prevent it. There's been a lot of research and a lot of people have been diagnosed with it. Um, different things that they might not have known what they were doing. For example, ticks. 
paralysis, seizures, they were all coming under that umbrella of FND, Functional Neurological Disorder. She had um, an, a rehabilitation nurse for six weeks, came in every day just to teach her how to be herself again, how to feed herself, everything. We didn't even try it with the walking for, to begin with, she was paralysed. I had never posted anything on TikTok about it before and it was literally just a video of me in my wheelchair standing myself up and taking my like first steps. I ended up getting like one million, maybe more views and so many comments. And then I started getting like quite a lot of hate from it. The most thing that I get said to me is I don't look disabled. I get so much like backlash from people where they don't believe that I can be okay one day and then I, I can't be the next day. Some days um, I can be a lot more mobile than other days. So some days I get complete paralysis. I'm proud of myself because even when I got told that I might never walk again, I managed to get myself up and walking. I make her cups of tea. Whenever she wants to go somewhere, I come with her or take care of her. He's like one of the people that actually like stuck around to like see the good times and the bad times. And obviously he has to love me anyway because I'm his sibling. <laughs> but like he always puts like the time and the effort into like make sure that I'm okay. They do stay together. Hello, Gracie! Kiki! Hi! Ready? Ready? Go! Gracie has been part of my life uh, for the past four years. I got her when I first became poorly. Gracie is really important to me because not only does she comfort me when I'm feeling really sad and like low, she also has saved my life a couple of times because. Uh, one of the times I had a seizure and I knocked myself unconscious and when I woke up she was led underneath my head. It was stopping my head from smacking the floor. Um, and then she also barks to tell my carers uh, when I'm having a seizure. I'm just obsessed with her. I know. She's like my child. She is your child. Your mummy's baby. You okay? Yeah. I just feel like a bit out of it. I can hear like people talking to me and like I, I'm, I'm fine, but I feel like a bit more like slow now. She has different symptoms every time she gets up. She either has tons of ticks. There was this one where she had this like, one where she shouted dogs. Yeah. It was really weird. And then she goes, <laughs> like that. I've been obviously unwell for the past five years. Although I progress like for a little short amount of time, it then gets bad again. So it's like two steps forward and five steps back. Literally steps. Put your arm like this. And when you shoot, you're going to flick your wrist like that. Ooh. Okay, let me try. No, I don't have this. I finally got onto a course of therapy called EMDR. EMDR therapy. So I've been completing that for the past like six, seven months. There is research that shows that it can help with seizures and like functional neurological disorder symptoms. I won't know like what it will do for me until I'm finished, but I've got really, really high hopes and fingers crossed. I'm grateful because I have a really good little community around me. I have brilliant family and friends that really help look after me and I'm also grateful for the fact that I didn't give up when so many times I wanted to and I carried on going. <laughs>